Hey guys, today's ant is the Mesa Barbarus, mainly found in Spain, Mediterranean Basin and North Africa. Okay guys, so first of all I'll give you some information on the ants themselves, and then we'll move on to keeping in care, and finally finish off with my own personal experience with this species. So their common name is Harvester Ant. They're from the genus Mesa and uh, the habitat is normally gardens, parks and forests and in the wild it's deep soil nests where they, where they can be found. They're polymorphic but without any real distinctive cast. Their workers sizes are between 3 and 9 mm, majors 9 to 14 mm and the queen herself 14 to 18 millimetres. So let's move on to a bit of keeping and care. Okay, so difficulty to keep. They're definitely suitable for beginners and they are easy to keep. On a side note, they shouldn't be disturbed too often with vibrations or loud noises. But general living in the room that they're kept is fine. Their behaviour they haven't got a sting, but the larger workers, the majors, they can bite. Um, Metabarbarus collect and store and consume seeds. They're very sensitive to vibrations. Their majors, the ones with the massive heads and jaws, are specifically designed to chew seeds into a form of, quote, ant bread. But they also eat insect matter and all the usual things that you can be expected to need to keep ants. Speaking of keeping ants, they're formicarium. They can be kept in a test tube set up for small colonies right up to quite large numbers. And then recommended is white tongue nests for large colonies with a foraging area attached and acrylic is also ideal featured in the video above. The nest conditions, humidity is required but not too much as in the wild they live in quite dry areas so it's best to offer the nest one part that has a little bit of humidity and one part that has a low humidity. They prefer temperatures around 25 to 30 degrees but I do know that the room temperature is absolutely fine for these ants but as all ants, a heated part of the nest could speed up brood development and your colony's size. As for hibernation with this species, it's around 6 weeks at 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. You do not need to feed them at this time, but moisture is required. And to increase the temperature slowly towards the end of the hibernation cycle. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about their diet. So mainly they require seeds, dandelion seed, grass seeds, organic bird seed, and this can be complemented with honeydew, sugar water, insects, for example fruit flies, crickets, jubia roaches, anything on these lines. Be careful with liquid food sources as this Species can drown particularly easy, so always provide cotton wool to prevent this. Okay guys, just to wrap up, I'm going to tell you about my observations of keeping this species. So basically what I've noticed is, they're a very quiet species when their colony is just founding. Even for me now, with about 20 workers, it's still a very quiet outworld and they do sneak out in the night and do most of their foraging but I know this is only a temporary thing once the colony grows to a mid to large colony that will change and there will be an explosion of activity to wrap up I believe that the Mesobarbarus is a fantastic beginner species of ant, very interesting with having some majors and different sized ants 
within the nests and being a, mainly a seed eating ant, the convenience of these ants makes for a good beginner ant. So let me know about your experiences with metabarbaries in the comments below and I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Great Beginner Species. All the best 